Welcome to Annie Series Recap, let's continue the anime, My Cultivator Girlfriend with episodes 6 to 10, but in the previous 5 episodes, Ng Xiong had become a cultivator after kissing Muzi. But the downfall for him is that the world of cultivators is dangerous for weakling and newly awakened cultivator like Ng Xiong. Because every strong cultivator will always kill weak cultivator to lessen competition. So Musi told him to keep his powers hidden but a powerful old man had already sensed Ng Xiong's powers and sent out his disciple to kill him. But she failed because Ng Xiong overpowered her with special powers granted by someone else, then after being defeated that girl, Ryu gets to Ng Xiong's room to spend the night with him. She made up that had she has nowhere else to go, so Ng Xiong lets her sleep there, then the next day, Ryu had a lot of fanboys proposing her non-stop. But she had already chosen to be with Ng Xiong just to make Musi jealous, and her fans started spitting blood after seeing Ng Xiong had two girls on each hand, so then Ng Xiong, Musi, and Ryu went to watch a horror movie, and there two of them tried to snatch a kiss from Ng Xiong, but seeing both are trying to kiss him at the same time. Ng Xiong bends down and the girls ends up kissing each other, honestly this was the best kiss in anime, so then afterwards Ng Xiong gave a nice present to Musi and seeing them so close. Ryu heart started to burn with agony, Ryu was leaving after seeing that and Ng Xiong saw himself in her as she looked all alone in this world. So Musi knew about his feelings so she told him to go after Ryu. Ng Xiong gets to her and extended his hand for friendship but Ryu thought it was Musi who told Ng Xiong to show her sympathy. There Ng Xiong told her about Musi's past as she was the only surviving member of her family, she's all alone in this world just like her, so Ng Xiong wanted to protect both of them, but she can't help but feel guilty for trying to kill them and runs away. Then she went to her master to report on her failure to kill Ng Xiong because he had overpowered her in their fight. So hearing this old man ordered Ruyu to keep them busy until he consumes those dead bodies to gain more power. Ruyu knows if things continue like this her master will surely kill her one day as well just to become powerful, then Ng Xiong was worried about Ruyu and kept searching for her. But then she got to him in a broken state with nothing but a shirt on, she didn't know whom to believe and begins to fight Ng Xiong. But Ng Xiong didn't use his power in the slightest because he knew Ryu would never harm him, Ng Xiong stayed true to his words as he truly wants to protect Ryu and Musi. So she reveals that her master had already detected Ng Xiong's abilities and that he is about to come after Ng Xiong's life, as well as kill both of them for his cultivation. Because one day she saw her master using blood techniques to absorb the life essence from humans to raise his own cultivation and if he gets a cultivator's blood then it could benefit him more. Hearing about his powers Ng Xiong gave an idea to run away as far as they could and Musi always had a dream to get to a beach. These two gets into their own fantasy world so Ryu had to smack Ng Xiong to bring him back to his senses, then she wanted to have Ng Xiong and Musi on her side to defeat her master. But Musi still couldn't believe in Ryu, so Ryu reveals to them that her master is pretty weak actually, so he resorted to that blood art to raise his cultivation level. But his blood art is still incomplete, so right now is the best time for them to strike down that old geezer if they want to save their lives and to kill that geezer. Ryu already had a plan to trap that old man, then Musi brought Ng Xiong to her room, and Ng Xiong wanted to co-cultivate with her because it could raise their level. But then Musi told him about the last time they cultivated together, she saw a power that resembled her own family powers, but it was much more powerful. And if Ng Xiong released this power in their fight then they will have a better chance at winning, Ng Xiong wanted to use that power but Musi tells him that his power could be a weapon. And the only way to summon that weapon is to offer it some of his blood to call it out and make a contract with it, but it could be dangerous for Ng Xiong. Because if he fails to make a contract or gets distracted he would get possessed by that spirit weapon, it was a risky gamble, but Ng Xiong had made up his mind to summon his weapon. So Musi didn't waste any time and drew out her sword and made a cut on Ng Xiong's hand, she then uses her power to draw out that weapon from Ng. And then Ng Xiong took the chance and made a contract with that weapon, but after their contract that weapon turns into a human. She was the definition of power itself, but Ng Xiong is way too weak to use her, much less Ng Xiong can't even keep her outside for too long. So now Ng Xiong was figuring out how to summon that weapon and for that he tried out several methods but nothing happens. So he goes out for a walk to cool of his head, but there Ng Xiong meets a fanboy of Musi, Zhao wanted to take Musi by force from Ng Xiong. And just as those two were about to attack Ng Xiong, Ruyu and Musi stepped in and stopped them, but when both girls were about to go all out against them, those lackeys used a sealing technique to strangle both of the girl, that rich brat wanted to first take out Ng Xiong and they did injured him. 
But then as soon as they had Ying Xion under their feet, that weapon girl appeared at the perfect moment to save Ying Xion, so Ying Xion ordered her to first rescue the girls. And the after that both girls handled these two cultivators by themselves, but that old man was already keeping an eye on their every move. Then Ruyu meets that new weapon of Ying Xion, but Ying Xion still kept it was secret that he got that weapon from Xin Zi, but it was getting strange calling her weapon all the time. So Ling Xion named her Linger, so Ryu left to prepare for the fight against her master, as does Muzi, and Ying Xion is the only one who can't even use his own powers. So Linger took him to her dimension and tells him that she was created and trained by Xin Zi in this world, and Linger has strong cultivations level. But her full power could only be drawn out if Ying Xion is powerful enough to handle it, Ying Xion still believes there might be some way to use her powers. So Linger reveals that if Ying Xion tries to do some funny business to her, it will trigger a detonation that will blow away a few miles, and Ying Xion clearly doesn't want that. But aside from that Ying Xion wanted to learn about his own powers, so Linger took off his top and started to help him out, with that Ying Xion was able to de-use a bit of his spirit powers. And Linger told him it would take 10 years to fully master it, but they don't have that much time, so Linger told him about a shortcut but it will give him a severe pain. So Ying Xion chose to go the hard way, that would make him strong in short time, but it will be tough to endure that serious pain. But our today's video ends there, so what will happen next in the anime, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest in update on my next video.